you can see here we've already seen learned about a stimulus so let's look at this example here the stimulus here is going to be a delicious looking pizza that's in our environment and then the receptor to find to observe that stimulus is going to be light receptors in our eyes the next part of the stimulus response model is there's some sort of control center and usually it's the brain and the control center is what makes the decision it's not always the brain but usually and in most cases it is so the brain decides yes I want to eat that pizza and that's what my brain would decide every time the next step is there's some sort of effector which is something that causes something to happen in the animal so in this example the muscles will be the effector because you need to move your hands and your mouth to be able to pick up the pizza and eat it so the control center sends some sort of message to tell the muscles to start moving and that causes our response which for most or a lot of people is going to be eat the pizza a pretty common response when you see a pizza on the table so we've seen a couple of new words here we have effector and we have response remember the effector is the organ or the cells sometimes it's just individual cells that cause a response so the hands picking up the pizza and eating it organs that cause a response and the response we can just say is a change that's caused by a stimulus originally a change caused by a stimulus let's look at the stimulus response model for a different situation this is a common one if you hear a loud crash or a loud noise so the stimulus here is a loud noise if you hear a huge crash your pressure receptors in your ear are going to are going to detect that sound and then your control center again is the brain in this case The control center is going to send a message to the effector and probably there are a lot of effectors so I would say the muscles in your neck maybe in your mouth if you yell out in fright and the response for a lot of people is to they'll look up and maybe shout in surprise so the key for the stimulus response model is these arrows help us to show that it's a step-by-step -step process and we always start with the stimulus that's detected by the receptor the receptor sends a message to the control center <coughs> the control center sends a message to the effector and then that causes the response